Howdy folks, TJ here. What is this madness I have on the screen? Don't know if it's blurry or not. And I'm not gonna do one of those, every uh, Aquarius video typically has, uh, you know, somebody singing the Aquarius song or talking about the age of Aquarius. I'm not that corny, I won't quite go there. But we're gonna talk about the Aquarius Plus. Have you heard of the Aquarius Plus? Probably not, uh, but there is a Facebook group now for it. And I will chat about this Aquarius Plus. L let me let me grab something first so I can show you something cool. Hold up, hold a sec. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Damn it! Uh, I love the freaking fifth dimension. That song's awesome. <laughs> The Age of Aquarius. Yeah, every single one is going to have... I made some videos on that. I don't think I referenced it, but a lot of them do. And hey, just take it. You know, it's a cool song. Marilyn McCool, pretty hot. Uh, still, I think she's still alive. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was grabbing this. Yeah, this is the freaking Aquarius. And it's a, a an 8-bit computer. Only sold for a few months. But it has a very fun following... And there is an Aquarius Plus on the way, so I thought we would ch chat about it. It's in the very kind of early stages. Well, maybe uh, more past early stages, but in terms of it not shipping yet or not available yet, maybe it's a little early yet. Yeah, but let me put this back over here, get it out of the way. And love will steer the stuff. <laughs> okay, so Aquarius Plus. There is a Facebook group now. Called Aquarius Plus. So if you're on the Mattel Aquarius Facebook group, the original one, if you're not, join it. Great group if you want to learn about the one that I just showed you. But there is now a separate group called Aquarius Plus. So there is a group of uh, Aquarius wizards, we'll call them that, uh, and they have been working hard at an Aquarius Plus. And no, it's not just an FPGA device. It actually has a real Z80 in it. So not only does it have that, it's going to expand our horizons beyond what the original Aquarius computer was. Now, if you've been following the Aquarius, you know there's the original Aquarius, the wee blue key, and then Radafin, who originally made the Aquarius, I think, for Mattel, and then took it back because Mattel didn't want to play games anymore with it. Then they sold it under the Radafin name for a little while. Then, eventually, there was a Aquarius 2 also, which, instead of having the little chiclet keyboard, had a nice keyboard, but only a few uh, really crazy people own those. I, they probably made, you know, a handful. I don't know how many ma they made, but there's not many, and there's only a few people that actually have some, and I've only seen one person actually using one, and that's Roy Templeman. Everybody else are, appear to maybe be collectors that have it, but I've never seen them make a video and spark it up. So cheers, Roy, for actually fixing yours, making it work, and showing the world that there's an Aquarius too. But there's an Aquarius Plus. Let me read off. I printed this, and let me focus in on the screen a little bit. Not like you're going to really be viewing that. I would, I'm would. i going to, down in the link below, tell you, or the description below, tell you where to go. Uh, join the group, and you can read all about it and look at the pretty pictures and all that stuff. In fact, that that's kind of, that's what it looks like. Uh, can I scroll on this damn thing? Oh, shit, I uh, yeah, that's a big picture. Look, it's got portage, HDMI, USBs, all sorts of shit. It's really cool. So let me read off. It says, uh, this is going to be a buy solution. I, I took this off of Sean Harrington. He posted, somebody asked, what the hell is this thing? And he basically said, uh, first, this is a buy solution. And that's not to say that someone can't use the Gerber pick and place and BOM, Bill of Materials, <laughs> uh, bomb uh, files to source their own. This is an open source, so anyone can do it if they choose. I would not be that chooser. Have you ever seen me slaughter? <laughs> uh, but there is still an initial image file that needs to be burned into the system to allow SD card-based system upgrades. We're identifying local regional resellers who are interested in distributing finished versions. So cool. General specs. That's what you're here for, right? General specs. Uh, real Z80 processor, Spartan 6 FPGA for system control, video generation, and ROM storage. 
512K paged RAM, reworked video architecture with sprites. If just that word alone is I probably scared some of you because you know this is a character-driven video system. So we're gonna have sprites uh, in this uh, Aquarius Plus. Uh, color tile maps and custom characters. Uh, that's cool. All through VGA output. And then for you saying, why are you doing VGA? Because that's, a, I think, a common thing people will say. But you can get a VGA to HDMI adapter and then go to HDMI if you need to. But, uh, you know, there's probably enough of us goobers out there with VGA displays. But, yeah, VGA to HDMI, you can easily do that. In fact, I've got a little dongle. I probably should have said that. But I've got a little dongle, and I'm proud of it. And I've got it over there uh, to do such a thing. So, cool. Uh, legacy components supported... DB9s for Aquarius controllers, expansion port for ROM cartridges, RAM carts are not supported. So the RAM one won't work, but the other game ones supposedly should work. Cool. Uh, printer and cassette ports. Uh, it's got all the original portage on there. That's cool. A USB keyboard port. Naturally, you can see there's no keyboard here. So there's no wee blue key. So if you want a wee blue key, you're going to have to get a, your own keyboard and make the, the keys. Uh, blue, if you like that uh, sort of thing. Uh, ESP32 interface for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and SD card interface for random access mass storage. Also reprograms the FPGA when updates are needed. Aquarius 2. Uh, so this person asked about the Aquarius 2. What I think would it ha be also include the Aquarius 2 stuff? Because the Aquarius 2, to some of us, thinking that it's a bigger, better, better system. And Sean's answer was, other than the embedded extended basic ROM, the Aquarius 2 is not architecturally different from the Aquarius. In fact, when you load a cartridge, you lose the uh, EXT uh, basic anyway, so there's no point in emulating it. That being said, the Aquarius Plus ROM has some of the extended basic commands, and we're planning on implementing some of the MX basic 2.0 command set as well. There will probably be an MX Basic version, Aquarius Plus, that adds basic commands to leverage the advanced graphics and connectivity features, but that's a ways off. For those who want to see the C code and blah, 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 I'll stop reading there. So that's what that pretty picture... I don't know how to get out of this screen. This is on my iPad. Can escape work? Oh, God, I'm, I'm in an endless uh, loop of uh, clothes. Uh, clothes. Uh, now let's scroll down. So here is the PC board. This is Aquarius. He posted this 14 hours ago. Aquarius Plus Rev 2 prototype boards are here. Z80 power switch and bus connector need to be placed, but look good at their first inspection. Hey, Sean, would you like me to solder those on? <laughs> I don't know if he's reading this but or viewing it. Uh, that's just a little joke. <laughs> uh, but look, that's what the Aquarius Plus board looks like. I can see an SD card here. Everything's labeled. You can't read it from there, but Wi-Fi and storage, a printer, cassette, cassette, power. And this, you know what's cool about this? Just this alone. So the Aquarius that I showed you over there a little a bit. Let me go grab it again. Hold on. This is the age of Aquarius. <laughs> Every time I leave, I sing. Uh, this is the AC power brick thing. It weighs 90 pounds. And it's hardwired to the side of this Aquarius. It's not very pleasant when you're trying to carry stuff around, move from computer from room to room. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So this is a power, and I think it's one of those USB type of things where you need to get a USB hub that powers and you slap a cable on there. But needless to say, you can unplug the son of a bee, and you don't have to carry that big old brick thing around. So that is cool. USB uh, audio output. Uh, VGA, it looks like, VGA port. Uh, and it's designed in 2022-2023 by Frank Van, G uh, Van Den... Oh, Frank Van Hen Hendoff. I, I have a heart. It's really blurry. I, plus my eyes. But it's Frank. <laughs> uh, and 512 kilobyte of RAM right there. A Z80 CPU. Uh, FPGA is right there. Uh, and this is a next-generation Z80-based retro computer system, Aquarius Plus, Rev2. It's got FPGA spare, ESP spare, hand controller, hand controller. Those are the two hand controllers. 
So, and there's even a little uh, wee blue light down here that looks like it's going to shine on you. So that's what the Aquarius Plus board looks like. And then when all is said and done, I'm guessing this is what the computer will look like. And you'll slap a keyboard on there and off your merry way goes. So this is interesting. If you're into Aquarius, this is cool. If you're not into Aquarius, get onto the Facebook groups. There's a number of them, but the main Facebook group and then now the Aquarius Plus group. I'll put the links down below. Uh, I don't know when this will be available, but they, they've come. It looks like it's basically done and they're starting to make boards. And, and who knows uh, if this is this year thing by the end of the year? I don't know. But if you're into Aquarius or not into Aquarius, maybe the time, now's the time to explore it because this is fun. You know, it's a good group of people that are making all this happen. So anyway, I'll put the links down below. Click on them. Join the groups. Check it out. And I am looking forward to it myself to spark up an Aquarius Plus one day. So thanks for watching. And remember, this is the age of Aquarius. <laughs> Stop singing. Don't sing the song.